But you don't need to be in the pew every Sunday to know that there's something wrong in this country when gays can serve openly in the military, but our kids can't openly celebrate Christmas or pray in school. Mr. President, I'll end Obama's war on religion. I'll what? fight against liberal attacks on our religious heritage. The Faith fuck are you talking America about? Strong. It can make her strong again. I'm Rick Perry, and I approve this message. What a dick. Okay, so Rick Perry, you sit here and talk about gays being able to openly serve in the military like it's a bad thing. I hate to break it to you, dude, but that's called progress. That tends to happen over time. You know, there was a time when our military was segregated uh, and people were not allowed in because of the color of their skin, and that type of discrimination was against it was eventually repealed and you know African American citizens were eventually able to serve in the military same thing happened with women and people came up with these petty little arguments uh, against both of those types of integration and uh, they ultimately failed now the same thing has happened with openly gay and lesbian soldiers and it's a good thing that it did because, you know, the whole don't ask, don't tell thing was just ridiculous and, and nobody should ever be prevented from serving their country just because people get their panties in the bunch because they're around the gays. People need to get over it. And they're going to be inevitably forced to get over it. And it's like I said, it's a good thing. Now you're talking about this war on Christmas and the fact that children are not going to be allowed to pray pray in school or believe in Christmas or whatever. That is complete and total fabricated bullshit. It's bullshit. That's all it is. Nobody is preventing anybody in this country, not children or adults, from practicing their religion or praying in school. People can pray in school. There's no law against it. There are no rules in any public school in this country against praying. No, it may not be a popular thing to do, but you know that's a that's a societal problem. It's just it's not commonplace to see that in any public place nowadays. But if it does, people have every right to do it, and I personally would not have a problem with it. I may not be religious myself, but I don't have a problem with people practicing the religion and being open about their religious beliefs, just so long as they don't infringe upon my rights or try to do that or. Uh, use religion to discriminate against somebody or to hurt somebody in an act of terrorism or whatever that's what I have a problem with I don't have a problem with religion being practiced um, so you are coming up with these ridiculous arguments uh, you're trying to act like Christianity is under attack and that uh, all Christians are going to be persecuted and put in jail I can assure you that you are part of a large majority in this country. Most people in this country believe in some kind of higher power. They're, you know, they're Christian, they're Catholic, Jewish, Muslim, Buddhist, pagan. Some people are agnostic, and yes, there are people who are atheists, but we're very few and far in between, especially in more rural areas of the country. You're just trying to act like this conservative victim, trying to act like there's something wrong with America. The only thing that's really wrong with America is douchebags. Actually, there's two things. Douchebags like you who want to stick your head in the sand and keep this country back in the 1950s, you know, afraid of any kind of progress, afraid that any kind of prejudice might get challenged, and the economy. And, you know, what's going on with the economy there's a variety of different opinions about, you know, who's responsible for that, what can be done. I'm not going to get into that. That's not important. What's important is, Rick Perry, you are a lying son of a bitch, and you need to shut the fuck up. Nobody's going to elect you for president talking like this. You're a very disliked man at this point. Anybody out there who supports Rick Perry, please come to the light. There's a light at the end of that tunnel. Run for it and educate yourself. Rick Perry is nothing more than a fascist bigot waiting to happen. Worse than Bush, if you ask me, coming straight out of Texas. It's fucking bullshit. It's, is this really, you know, looking at all the Republicans that we have to choose from in this next election, Michelle Bachman, Rick Santorum, Herman Cain, 
I'm so thankful that he dropped out of the race. That's 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 a, that gives me a little bit of hope. But seriously, people like Rick Perry, shut the fuck up. I'm done. <laughs>